my Fishaholic fam. Well, welcome back to another episode. We've got a special treat for today's vid. We're standing by here, the 39 contender, the sea bear, captained by Captain Dan. And we're fueling up right now. We've also got Captain Mike there. We've got Mike's friend Neil, new to the uh, sea uh, bear tuna team. But uh, we're gonna head out uh, about 100 miles offshore. So it's gonna be an extended offshore trip. We're gonna basically fish from late right. afternoon into the evening into dark all night long and then as well as hit first light into tomorrow afternoon and then head back so hopefully we can uh, tackle some pelagic species and uh, catch it all on film for you and uh, check out this little logo that I designed for uh, the sea bear tuna team. Mike is uh, rocking the shirt and hopefully by the end of the trip that'll be covered in some blood and uh, We'll be bringing home some nice meat for the table. But anyway, I'll see you guys out in the water. So here's what we got going on. Just put out a six rod spread. Maybe gonna do one more rod. But uh, we got out here a lot later than we anticipated. The sun just went down and uh, we're just gonna probably troll into dark, see what happens. Maybe troll a little in the dark and uh, then probably do some chunking and uh, hit it at first light uh, tomorrow. Dan, how you feeling? Feeling good. You, you sure? <laughs> got a report that a big guy was trolled up on the east wall at 10 p.m. yesterday, so maybe we should head over there after we. All right, so we might we might be trolling into the dark. Yeah. Oh, sounds yeah. sounds like a plan. So I'm gonna try and do my best to film uh, after the sun goes well after we lose the light. We got lights on the boat, so we'll see what happens. They're hanging out right behind, the, like right under the boat. That was that was 60 feet down, like 60 count. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know how they don't cut it off, you know. Like, this is only like an 80 fluoro liter. So. Yeah, circle hook. Yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna keep going back and forth, and and then and then someone's gonna have to just pull them up alongside and just cut the line again. Oh man. Oh. oh man. You got the herd on him? Oh. Drag up? <laughs> yeah, it, it's up pretty high. Oh. Woo. Oh, this might be a hammerhead or something. You know, I don't know. Maybe it's not a truck. Maybe it's a big guy. Maybe. Yeah, this is real. We gotta fight this thing like it's a real fish. That's not a shark. You don't think it is? I, I don't know. Oh, maybe now it's I not a blue dog. I don't think so. Alright. He's going under the boat now. Alright, which way? Mike, let it for real up some of these things. I have to fight this thing. Oh, man. 
Swimming at me. Swimming at me. Right. He's swimming right up. Yeah, he's close. Look at that. Woo! Oh man. Alright guys. Well finally we got a tuna tonight. Woo! Hell yeah! I am dead from that fight and it has been a grind out here. What time is it? 4 a.m.? It's uh yeah, 4.15. 4.15. So we've been at it for a solid like well, eight hours really like trolling. And then night fishing. Night fishing has been really dismal, totally futile, except for some blue sharks. And uh, I put a whole butterfish down there and within five minutes, got slammed by this big girl here. So we're not going home empty handed. Let's, uh, I guess, get back on the spot and get back down there. See if we can catch some more. All right, guys, so just to uh, kind of bring you up to pace, like I said, it's been a really slow night and uh, we just tangled with a blue shark and uh, I re-rigged, made a, a brand new leader with 80 pound fluoro, the one or the lightest leader that uh, we were fishing with tonight and buried the circle hook right in the last butterfish and sent it on down with a six or five ounce weight right above it. And then after attaching the weight, I sent that last butterfish down about 50, 60 feet roughly. And within five minutes, this rod started bending over and uh, we knew we had a fish on immediately. But that was a cool surprise. Finally got a tuna tonight. So, we've got a little light in the sky now. It's probably been about an hour since uh, we landed that one and only tuna so far. And I saw a couple splashes on the surface. So I'm gonna start casting around a top water plug. They're busting on top right behind us. Did you see that? Yeah, there was like a uh, 40 pound. Oh, he's on it. Swirling, he's behind it. Oh, look at that. Oh, he's on it. Got it. No. Oh, he came off. Oh, that was sick. I'm using a single hook. <laughs> oh man, that's why we didn't connect, but we got hit. On top, dude. Oh, that was, that was so cool. They're busting all around us. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, he's on it, he's on it. Come on, come on. I wanna catch one on top so bad. Oh, just got blown up on. Come on back, come on back. Come on back, baby. Come on. Oh, they're on it, they're on it. Come on, eat it. Come on. Oh my God, did you see that? 
They're going ham on this thing. All right, well, that was a pretty sweet surprise to uh, have the sun come up and be surrounded by little yellowfin, like probably like 30 to 40, maybe 50 pounds, just blowing up all around the boat. And uh, we had like two or three shots with uh, the squid, like North Bar plug. But being that I only had a single hook on it, we were kind of at a little disadvantage. I eventually, through this uh, plug here, which was like the hot ticket in uh, my last tuna video, if you saw that vid, but uh, unfortunately we didn't get any bites on that. They stopped and they moved on elsewhere. So uh, Dan, we're gonna maybe start uh, trolling, I guess now. Yeah, or... let's start setting up. So I think we're gonna start setting up uh, a trolling spread and see if we can go back on those yellows. They were probably back that way, right? That's exactly where I'm gonna go. So we're gonna head back over them. Maybe we'll get a shot at some on the troll or possibly another shot uh, on top, hopefully. So let's see what happens. Oh, Mahi right here, right under the boat. Nice one. Oh, he ate it. Did you see that? He went for it. That was a good size one. All right, well, we're gonna change things up real quick here since I had a couple bites on uh, some of the high flyers indicating uh, that there's some Mahi Mahi to be caught in the area. And I'm just cutting up this squid here to use as uh, some bait because this is definitely the ideal choice if you really want to catch them well. So how I'm rigging is basically just threading on a little egg sinker. I'm gonna put on a little octopus bait hook. And then I'm just gonna put on a juicy piece of squid. Oh, he ate it. There he is. Right. Got him. Mahi on. It's a pretty good one. It's a good one. I might have to get the net. It's a good, it's a good mahi. Oh, look at him jump. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! Look at that. <laughs> Gotta love that. Might get a piece of squid on. It's one of the bigger ones out of the batch, for sure. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that. You want to shake that hook, you better get him in the boat. I'm trying my best. He's putting this little uh, 4,000 certate to the test. There's another nice one right there. Oh yeah. Mike, there's mahi all over the place here. Oh, another one right there. Oh, you gotta get a piece of squid on. Get in there. Oh. Woo! <laughs> this is a good time. I you're filming this. Oh I am. Oh my gosh. Come on, baby. Oh, she's still got some energy in the tank. Oh man. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at that. This is uh, one of the largest mahis I've probably hooked into in these waters. I think you should put them on a heftier, uh, a heftier rod next time. 
This is, I mean, you're supposed to, I mean, I didn't know they were gonna be this big. You're supposed to use light tackle with them. Now, this is what we would use light spinning gear like this on the ADK all the time. You gotta be quick with the net. He's coming right here. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I love the colors on them, they're yeah, so that's, gorgeous. That's a big fish, man. Oh my gosh. She does not want to give up. Mike, don't you have one yet? What the hell? <laughs> He's not using the squid. Put a, put a piece of squid on, we got enough of it for God's sakes. All right, I'm gonna try and bring her right up, right here. Deep. Ah, come on. Under the boat. Come on up. Oh man. No more running. Easy killer. Oh. oh! Of course. That's the problem. Damn it. You don't even really need to, you just let it kind of just do its thing. Like sink down and they, they just slurp it right up. It's one right here. Oh, on him. This one might be a little bit more of a manageable size. Oh, and I lost him. Dang it. Yeah, he just jumped off. There's another one looking at it still. All right, well, we had two mahi on, lost two mahi, and uh, we were gonna get back on the troll because the mahi quit biting, we kind of spooked him. And uh, I was trying these new Trocar Eagle Claw hooks. They look good, they're razor sharp, but you know, Mahi just like jump like crazy. And uh, you know, they're such a beautiful fish. So, so part of me always wants to throw them back, but they're also so tasty. So uh, it always like breaks my heart when I have to keep one or throw one in the box. But um, yeah, we're gonna give it maybe like another 45 minutes to an hour of trolling. And uh, hopefully we can just get like one more tuna bite. And uh, then I think we're gonna call it a day. All right, well, unfortunately, we've been trolling now for like another hour or so, and uh, we're just about ready to pack it in. And uh, we had no more bites on the troll, no more tuna, only caught one tuna on this trip. But uh, hey, that's tuna fishing. Sometimes you can come out here and catch nothing. <laughs> so I'm glad we got at least uh, the one nice tuna, which uh, I will take the liberty of dicing up once we get back to the dock. So we're gonna start packing things in and uh, I guess I'll see you guys back in the dock. We maybe, we'll see if we can try and get a weight on that tuna and uh, we'll you know, show you how heavy that fish uh, ends up being. All right, Fishaholics, so well we're back at the dock and now the really fun part starts. We gotta scrub down the sea bear and uh, get it all clean and shiny, pack up all the gear, and then finally we're gonna weigh this tuna here. Right now it's not hanging on the scale, so right, right, right. Keep yep. going. Keep going. There you go. There you go. Right. All right. Now you can 
105. All right. Yeah. All right. There it is. There so it is. that, that's it. Buck 05. All right. So 105 was uh, what this yellowfin tuna weighed up on top of that scale. A little sketchy getting up there on this like shaky ladder. And of course, I'm the youngest and supposedly the skinniest and lightest. So that was my job to do that. And now it's my job to cut up this yellowfin tuna. And we also brought the tuna down and weighed it on a flat scale. And I said 95 on that scale. But uh, the people that work here trusted the, the scale that was up top more so than the one that was down on the ground. But so we'll just say this was a solid 100 pound yellowfin tuna right here. Awesome fight, put my body to the test, put all of us to the test, and uh, we we're gonna put it to good use. Uh, you know, if you were here right now, I'd probably give you a piece, but I'm gonna distribute to the crew, family, friends, and uh, yeah, I'm, I, I'm extremely exhausted. You don't really know how tired you are until you get back to shore after an overnight canyon. But anyway, I'm gonna put the camera down, start whacking up this tuna here and uh, again thanks for watching and like always live to fish fish to live